Hey, how you doing? This is John, and welcome to John's Long Box. Today, yes, you guessed it, I'm doing another back issue bonanza because I'm unstoppable at this point. Um, this is an unexpected video. I was planning on not doing a video today. I'm actually recording this at 8 o'clock at night. Usually I record these the day before and post them so they can get up at, at, at 12 a.m. the next day. So I'm recording this at 8 o'clock and then putting it up so I can have a consistent you know, video for the day. But anyway... I was going to do a video today. I was going to take a day off. Me, my wife and I are both off this week, and uh, we were just we were planning on being lazy. And uh, <laughs> she realized that I have not been outside of my house since last Wednesday. And today being a Wednesday, that means it's been seven days. Well, I was out Wednesday, so it's been six days of me not even leaving the house. I I, I love my house. You you, you I, I love being down here in the basement. I I just I just love it so much. You know, I got everything I need. So. It's freezing out. I don't know if you guys know. I, I live in New York and it's just, just freezing out. So why go outside? We, 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 we have so many leftovers. So she was like, let's go to the diner today. So we went to the diner and I saw a sign that said comic books, new store. There was a, a little strip mall with only three locations in it. And one of them was a computer repair place that actually fixed my computer. And a long, long story, ranting and raving. But next door to it was a comic book store. So I was like, let's go there on the way back. So we went on the way back. We had four minutes till it was closing. The store wasn't even open yet. The door was unlocked and the guy was just working on the store. There were still ladders on the floor and boxes all over the place. So I was like, oh, want me to no, no, you look around. And I found this. This is in remarkable condition. Remarkable condition. So this is Justice League number 44. I did not read it yet. I, I read up to 10. So I will not be reading this for a while. But look at this. Uh, don't touch us, or you will be doomed to king size death. So apparently they're, they're growing. And then I got this Justice League number 50, remarkable condition. Just look, look at that face. Look at that face. Holy mackerel. All right. Oh, the flash. I didn't even notice the flash. Okay. Now, this would have been good enough. But the next score, keep in mind, the guy charged me $25. Okay. Not for the. Okay. The guy charged me $25 for my next score, and I was beyond the moon. So I, I, was, I was talking about how I never collected anything but superhero comics as a kid, because comic books were for superheroes. Sci-fi, war, whatever, was a was a, a no-no. So I got this. I bought issue number one of the NOM, because everybody who worked at comic book stores had to buy issue number one. We had guys that were coming in, you know, We'd never seen them before. They, they were ordered like 300 copies of the NOM, you know, at the, at the store. It was a big deal. It was, I think, like six printings or something. It was a big deal. So I, I went and I got myself a first printing. And I, I don't even know if I read it. But I bought Epic Illustrated. Uh, that Marvel Comics, like, answered to Heavy Metal. And heavy, and, and uh, it was like a, you know, an adult. Not, not adult isn't dirt but like of more literature adult uh, comic book because remember marvel was always a little bit embarrassed by comic books they wanted to get the adult magazine audience so in, in the in the 80s they were experimenting with magazines and one of them was was epic illustrated and that had uh why can't i remember like 46 by 41 or something like that it was a uh, a war comic by Doug Wildey and Michael Gold. It was the precursor to the NOM. And then it was such a big hit that they were going to put it in comics. So they changed the name to the NOM, make it a little bit more palatable. And and thus the comic was born. Now, I, I just read those. And they were excellent. 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 And I never read the NOM. So I got number one. And that was it. And that, that was all my back burner of stuff to actually buy. So for 25 bucks, I got near mint condition from two to 40. So here we go. That's number three. That's number four. And keep in mind, my wife was just like, let's go to the diner. And I was like, oh, look, comic book store. So this is totally, totally a score. Okay, just whatever. And the guy was real friendly, real friendly. It turned out he had a comic book store in my old neighborhood that I had visited once. But uh, I, I didn't really go to because it, it was it's just so hard to park in Queens. So I, I, you know, I didn't didn't really go there too much. Look at this. That's eight, nine. I was a little bit out of order. Ten. Eleven. Great covers. This is Michael Golden. I forget when Michael Golden leaves. Twelve. Thirteen. So yeah, I never read these. So the lip. The lip, 
the lip. This, this doesn't look like Michael Golden anymore. And, and uh, what was his name? Doug, Doug Wildly, I think. I, f I forget the name of the, the, the writer. But uh, I forget when he when Chuck Dixon took took over. So I'm just doing this fast because, again, I, I wasn't even planning on doing a video today. I was going to take a nice, lazy day and do nothing. This is a good cover. Bob Camp. And, again, I, I never read these before. This is a glare. War comics are a big glaring hole. And this was a Marvel comic that I actively avoided because I, I didn't like war comics. You know, comic books were superheroes. And I was just like, yeah, people who don't like comics by the name. I, I, uh, I Pretentious. Now, I, I cannot believe, 20, 25 bucks, all of these, 25 bucks for, for 40 comics, less than a dollar a comic. So this is less than cover price. So if I bought these, and, and they're bagged and boarded, you know? So this guy, he, he's got a customer for life. You know, I, 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 think, I think he hinted that I was his first actual customer that wasn't like a relative that was just coming in to buy something. And it's, I can walk there. I, I, I could walk there in, in ten less than ten minutes. Brand new place, and it's you know it it's it's there seems to be like a lot of retro collectible places. So it's not just comic books. He's got like records and CDs and DVDs and cassette tapes and toys. So it's pretty pretty interesting. So I'm gonna go there. No, it's called Noble Noble Comics. There's one in Forest Hills, and there's one right by me now. I live around the block from it. If you want to come and stalk me, okay, I got it. the lip. The lip. Oh, they, they almost slid. So, look at that. The sniper doesn't kill him. The landmine will. So, I'm looking forward to read these. I, You know, now I'll go break out my number one. And there you go. What? So, now I have the nom one to 40. 25 bucks. Uh, you can't, can't, can't complain about that. The gentleman, I, I forget what he said his name was, but he was very pleasant. Uh... Right, right by my house. I'm really, really amazed. So, uh, you know, if, 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 if you're in New York, check out Noble Comics. To, you know, why, why not give them a plug? All right. I'll see you guys tomorrow with another video. And if I take off, I, I'm just, you know, just trying to be lazy with my wife. But, uh, you know, I got a couple more days to be lazy. All right. See you around. Bye bye.